All right, the, the, the ritual has to be done in a certain way. Um, first, you, I, I need to find a good area. Um, when you do the ritual, all the, the dirt around the sacrifice altar area will turn into cursed earth, which is a natural spawner. Um, so I usually, I usually will make it, shoot, I need to get up here. I usually will do it, um, with a silk touch shovel. That way I can harvest the, um, cursed earth. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that yeah, that way I can harvest the cursed earth and use it for a spawner. Um, this time I don't care. I already have some cursed earth. Um, this is just for this experiment, this tutorial. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm just gonna let this burn out. Um, I usually do it in the middle of the water like this too. Um, I have the last three or four times that I've done this because that way it doesn't spread anywhere else because the shit spreads pretty pretty rapidly. Um, I'm not sure exactly how big I need to make this. That's going to be the center though. So you need to put your enchantment table in the dead center. I did six by six right now. I don't have a whole lot of dirt and my shovel just freaking broke. I'm hoping six by six will be enough. Um, I don't even know if I have enough. And it, sun's going down, so I have to hurry. The ritual has to be done at midnight. Oh, shit. Oh, that sucks. Um, I'm going to waste one of my dirts. I don't even think I have enough dirt for this. This really sucks. I might have to wait for a whole nother night. But okay, I'm gonna show you one thing real quick is if you get any enchantment table anywhere and you shift, right click the sigil onto it, it'll tell you what to do with the ritual. Activation ritual, um, altar does not have a redstone circle. So you have to put a redstone circle around the altar. Um, altar can see the moon, it, so it has to be, you know, nothing could be over the top of it, is what that means. Uh, dang it. Um, altar has sufficient natural earth. It has to have, it has to be placed on dirt. Um, altar is in darkness. That means there's uh, no natural lighting around and it's too early so it has to be done at midnight it actually says it has enough earth i'm gonna put the rest of this around it and hopefully i can get it done before midnight oh shit oh that's not gonna work i don't believe or understand how it has enough earth around it i don't have enough i've tried this one time and i had a dirt all the way around it like this and it still didn't work so um, put as much of this as possible before it gets midnight and I actually should put the uh, redstone around it real quick so I'll be ready when it happens okay at midnight you have to do the sacrifice or is this moon okay it's directly overhead. This thing will start actually start blinking when it's time. And you'll see what happens. Most people by now have probably already did this. This was kind of a secret. First time I did it, it was kind of hard to find information. Uh, Direwolf20 did a video on you know, his spotlight on... Um, 
extra utilities and he just cut out this part of it because he didn't want to spoil it. So spoiler alerts, um, if you haven't done it already and you want to figure it out yourself, um, fast forward. <laughs> oh, you should have fast forwarded before I got to this spot. <laughs> okay, is that all my dirt? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Still too early for the sacrifice. See the, um, the dashes before each item. Um, it showed it before. It had an exclamation point on the ones that, well, it still has an exclamation point on the one, one at the bottom that um, I still haven't done. Um, so all we got to do is wait for midnight, and it's almost time. everything ready all right see it just started glowing see how the sigil is glowing that means it's almost midnight it's time so I put the uh, shift right click the lasso on here and kill the chicken kill the chicken Boom. there it is okay now I want to get the hell off of here this is one of the reasons why I did this out in the water um, it's done the sigils ready now I just need to sleep somewhere um, I'm too close to mobs. Can't rest. There's mobs nearby. I need to get away from all the mobs and sleep. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh, yeah, it worked though. Yeah. Okay. I want to get back over here. There's mobs everywhere. Okay. So this is what happens in the daylight. In the sunlight, the cursed earth will burn. And what's, oh, dang it. So, now that I did it in the water. And I got it to turn daylight. It'll burn off and it won't spread anywhere else. And after it gets finished burning, I'll go in and get my, you see all the freaking mobs that came off of that thing though. It's crazy. And that, Cursed Earth is a great spawner. Um, oh, oh, oh. Poisoned. But yeah, I will be back after that burns itself out. Yeah, let me get my table. Redstone if I can without it burning up. The rest of this is burning up pretty good. Um, to help it along, one of the one of the things you can do, well, is just break just break the blocks that have the uh, cursed earth on it, and it'll turn into regular dirt, unless you have silk touch. All right, so it's all gone now, and I'm headed back to my temp base, and I think I'm about ready to make the wings. Um, so I'll see you in a few. All right, I'm back and I'm ready. Um, I have all the ingredients in here. Let me find a good spot to do this. Uh, I, got, I guess this is good enough spot as any. Okay, first thing, you have to use a natural crafting table. You can't use one of the Tinker's um, ones here. or um, I don't even know if colored ones, you know, like with other woods will work. I'm not positive about that. Um, but, yeah. I, I've always used just a regular crafting table. Um, the ingredients here. Okay. I'm going to actually make the dragon ones, because I have the um, leather. If you look at the ingredients, or the, the recipe here, the Unstable ingots are in the bottom two corners. Um, I have everything right here except for the unstable ingots right there. So unstable ingots are right here. This is how you make them. You put iron in the top, sigil in the middle, and a diamond on the bottom. From this point on, after you have them in the table, you as soon as you take it out, you have 10 seconds to craft something with them. And I'm going to need two of them. 
So that's why I have two diamonds and two iron here. And as soon as I pull them out, I have to make this with them. So the easiest way I found to do this is put the gold together, put the leather together, put the star first, the leather second, and the gold third, like that. Put these in the crafting table. Oops, other way around. Diamond on the bottom. Okay. I usually get killed the first time. This will kill you because the unstable ingots will blow up if you don't do this within 10 seconds. I usually get, die the first time around, so hopefully I won't because I don't have any more diamonds. I might have to go freaking mining for some more diamonds if I do get killed. So... Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll take one of these out. I'm going to put it in my inventory. Grab the second one. Keep it in my hand. Shift right click the division sigil out of the, out of the table because it will stay. I'm going to put the ingot down. Grab the other ingot. Put it in the other corner. Grab the nether star. Put it in the middle. Grab the leather. Put it in each. Right click it into each corner. Then grab the gold and right click it into a cross shape and then pull that out as quick as possible <sighs> okay here goes nothing oops screwed up oh got it yeah first try first try oh yeah eat that eat that oh you seen it start blinking the the um whoo the uh <laughs> or, sorry my heart's racing a little bit yeah the the ingot started blinking it starts turning a little bit orange and then a little bit red and then it starts blinking um once it stops blinking i think it'll stop before it actually will blow up um it won't i'm going to show you i'm going to show you what happens okay now that this is over the end of the tutorial on how to make them or how to get to it. I'm going to show you what happens if you do it wrong. So I'm going to actually go into creative now because I don't have any more diamonds. Um, game mode one. Uh, grab a couple more diamonds. Actually, I'm going to have to grab... couple more leather might as well just do this like this real quick there there that way I don't have because I do have more iron and gold in there but for time's sake it's quicker to do it this way and I don't have another nether star so yeah I'm gonna have to do it this way oh where's the nether star thought it was right. Oh, there it is. Um, another star. And iron. Alright. This is what happens. Let me put this away. If you do it wrong. Let me get out of creative mode. All right, so let me do this wrong now. These in, take those out, put that out, put that in. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, there we go! Damn it! <laughs> All right. It used to actually say something a little bit different in your okay let me respawn in your um death message uh now it just has this quote with this algorithm exception divided by diamonds um yes yeah, used to say seems like it used to say suffered a fatal death from diamonds or something like that and now it just says that but yeah that's pretty much what happens i that wasn't the 
best example, but okay, also when this happens, whatever's left in your inventory um, will go into um, your gravestone. Um, the nether star will come out of the crafting table, but anything else that was in the crafting, I think actually the leather was in my hand. That's why it ended up, ended up on the ground. But anything else that was still in the crafting table is gone. You will lose your diamonds. Um, you'll lose your diamonds because you actually made the ingots with it and you'll lose the iron. Um, sometimes you'll get the gold back. I don't know. Let me see what's inside here. After I put my armor back on. Yeah, I lost the diamonds and I lost the iron, but I kept the gold and the leather and the nether star. All right, that looks like that's about the end of this tutorial. So I guess I'm going to fly my pretty ass back home. And woo! Woohoo! <laughs> Enjoy the, the products of my labor. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably try to do some more of these type of tutorials in the future. Uh, I like these a lot more than I do the spotlight ones. Uh, I'll do some like this that are, um, ooh, lens, there it goes. Yeah, some like this that are, you know, focused in on one item or maybe a cross-platform, cross-mod uh, type thing. Uh, I like uh, I like doing mob grinders a lot, so I might just do one uh, a really good mob grinder tutorial, things like that, you know. Uh, so yeah, woo! Oh, somebody's been playing around down there. So yeah, uh, if you liked it, I hope you liked it. Um, hit a like, leave a comment, um, subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Adiós.